Let's talk about terrible foods that are causing inflammation and disease in your body, and you probably don't even know that these foods are really killing you. Let's talk about that, and we'll talk about a whole list of 64. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, in Healthy Now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Today I want to talk about a, a lot of foods that you probably are eating that are causing major inflammation in your body, causing disease, causing all kinds, you know, fatigue, causing brain fog, causing uh, pain in your body, causing all kinds of different things that you probably have going on and you don't even know that these foods and other things are causing these problems. And uh, these, this can lead to, you know, lack of inability to lose weight, uh, just having no energy whatsoever. Uh, and it diff varies to, from person to person also as to what these foods will be too. But in general, there are a lot of foods that will cause inflammation in the body. And first of all, I like to talk about dairy. Even the USDA just came out in the last two weeks and say, now that meat and dairy products are optional for good health. So I think it's really important that, you know, we start moving away from meat and dairy products because they contain lots of uh, uh, toxins in them. If you watch the uh, movie, The Game Changers, Forks Over Knives, you know, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, on and on and on, we have a huge amount of smoking gun information that shows that these cause inflammation in their body. So stay away from the uh, dairy products absolutely positively. In fact, we have 12,000 medical doctors in the United States petitioning the FDA to put warning labels on dairy products like cheese and milk and yogurt and kefir and all that kind of thing. Just like on cigarettes, this causes cancer because we now have a direct link to ovarian cancer, breast cancer, prostate, prostate cancer, all these different types of things, so really not good. Also, eggs. Eggs are highly inflammatory. You know, some of you people out there are going to say, oh, the eggs are great, and there's a lot of, you know, disinformation about that. I have found particularly with eggs, one little third of a teaspoon will put a person into inflammation process for 30 days, and that's really not good. Of course, red meat, we know red meat, and white meat also. We, a study shows that uh, white meat is just as bad for the body, causing inflammation as red meat. Also, processed meat. Processed meat is a direct connection to coming down with especially colon cancer. So that's really not good in general. Processed foods are uh, processed foods, but also processed meats, you know, the salami and the bacon and all that kind of stuff. That's a cancer waiting to happen. There's no doubt about that. Also, fish. You know, there's a huge amount of toxins in fish now. Okay. The actual proteins have toxins in them, like heme, iron, TMAO, all these different things. Also, there's a huge amount of heavy metals in them now, which are not good and causing inflammation. And a lot of lead, you know, and lead was a big thing back in the, uh, you know, Renaissance period. People would use lead, uh, lead uh, powder on their face, you know. I think it was normal. How many people died of lead poisoning? Really not good. And look at some of the people in the Midwest who whole cities coming down with lead poisoning from their water now. Sugar. Sugar will put you right into inflammation. There's no doubt about that. We have a ton of studies showing that. Uh, really, processed sugar is really not good for the body in general. Uh, you know, Eat your fruits that are better for you. There's no doubt about it. Lots of antioxidants even protect you against Alzheimer's and dementia now. New studies showing that. So fruit is great. High fructose corn syrup, another one that causes, you know, inflammation in the body. Stay away from that stuff. And it also causes amazing amount of weight gains. Cheese. Cheese is an amazing dairy product, which, you know, is a killer. There's no doubt about that. We have... The information, even Dr. Neil Barnard did a study called the cheese trap, showing that it actually cheese connects to the morphine areas in our brain. So you get actually uh, addicted to it, just like morphine. There's no doubt about that. Refined non-organic flours and carbs in general, like pasta, that type of thing. 
those are really a killer and will cause inflammation in the body. Uh, you know, if you're eating the cupcakes and that type of thing. Lots of vegetable oils, you know, they're really not good. We now know that cause inflammation, even, uh, you know, grapeseed oil, even uh, olive oil, that type of thing. Even new studies showing that olive oil actually uh, causes problems with the epithelial lining of the blood vessels so they, can, they ha can't, uh, you know, expand and contract so they can do what they need to do to make your blood pressure right. So really not good. Also, too many supplements. I had a lady the other day, <laughs> I tell you the story. She was taking 50 different supplements and herbs. I said, this is not good. This is going to kill you. <laughs> and she had inflammation all over. You know, they're made to take individually seven to 10 days or just like any other type of medication. Don't go crazy with them. And I see people going crazy with them. Uh, please don't do that. And I finally got her off of them. So uh, really good. And she's feeling better. So great. Also, too many herbs, as I said before, same thing. Also, excessive fat intake in general. If you eat a lot of fats, it's really not going to be good for the body. Uh, we have a ton of studies showing that if you eat, you know, drenching everything and, you know, oil and that type of stuff, it's it's not good for the body. That's really great. Not not good. It's going to cause inflammation. Also, artificial creamers. Oh, man, there's nothing about toxic chemicals, and you're going to end up, I know a lot of you are hooked on those. Uh, not good. That's going to cause inflammation. Artificial sweeteners, you know, the only sweeteners I recommend is honey or maple syrup, and the only other one is stevia, which I think is really good also. And other than that, all these other sweeteners, and for the most part, there are a couple other natural ones out there also, but most of them are toxic and will cause inflammation in the body and really not good. Also, artificial anything, artificial preservatives, artificial colors, artificial you know, you know, anything, really not good for the body. And if you're, you need to look at the labels on the packaging and go, do I know what that is? If you don't, don't eat it. It's not good for you. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I have a lot of clients that don't, you know, I had a lady the other day, you know, I asked her to eat some beans, you know what I mean? The first thing she goes to is you know, eating canned beans with a whole bunch of sugar in it. I was like, wow, this is not good. But let's read the labels, please. Uh, really important to do that. Also, Seafood's another one. Seafood, you know, still has those toxic chemicals that are like heme iron in them, which will cause inflammation and like, like fish. I also said like pasta, that type of thing. If you're eating a ton of pasta, it's not good. It's going to end up, those refined carbs are going to end up causing problems. Whole grains are great. Those are good. Not a problem. Also chips and crackers and that type of thing. I know somebody that that's their normal thing to eat in the evening is chips and crackers and that type of thing. Really not good. It'll cause inflammation, cause problems with your your liver, cause problems with your kidneys, all kinds of things. Really, when your cholesterol is going to go through the roof, also really not good. Uh, also, they use a lot of trans fats and those type of things. Really not good. Uh, also, anything that's been you know processed and sitting on the shelf is. Whole foods don't last that long. They're not made to last for 10 years or five years or two years. Uh, they're supposed to be eaten. I figure it this way. If it's in the produce section, it's good. If it's on the shelf somewhere, it's not good. <laughs> Pretty simple. Alcohol in excess, there's no doubt about it. It'll cause problems, kill off the microbiome in your body, and that's really not good. Uh, so and everything is connected to those probiotics in your gut. So, and that will cause inflammation also. Coffee, you know, I uh, started doing coffee probably in my early 20s. And by my late 20s and early 30s, I had really a lot of lines, which I don't have now. And I go, wow, what's going on? And uh, it was inflammation. There's no doubt about it. So I, I stopped it altogether. And I stopped the caffeine also. Now I have an occasional decaf organic 
uh, iced coffee, and it seems like iced coffee doesn't bother me hardly at all, and I'm drinking decaf at all, all the time, and just one cup in the morning. Also, tea, you know, I was a teaaholic early in my years, too. Uh, I loved tea, you know, it was one of the things I used to do for a long, long time, and I gave it up because just in general, I just all of a sudden became allergic to it, and that was causing inflammation in my body. So you can become allergic to just about anything, and that will cause inflammation. Excessive salt. You know, take a ton of salt. Just do this for yourself. Take a ton of salt and see how your joints feel afterwards. It's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a lots and lots of inflammation. Uh, keep the salt to a minimum. Uh, chocolate, that's another thing I don't get along with. You know, I can take a small piece of chocolate, just uh, no milk in it, just uh, vegan, organic chocolate. I'll be fine. The second piece, I'm going to have problems with. I'm going to end up with inflammation all over my body. It's something about me, and other people won't want to have that problem. But some people do have problems with chocolate, and that's not everybody. So be aware of that also. Also, artificial flavors. If you have those artificial flavors, you're going to end up with inflammation. Artificial colors. You know, artificial colors are made with petroleum. That's regular oil out of the ground. Not good. <laughs> Food preservatives. You know? A lot of people say, you know, I'm going to live long enough. I need all the preservatives I need. <laughs> well, you don't want formaldehyde. You don't want, you know, potassium sorbate. You don't want all those chemicals. All they do is create inflammation and cancer. There's no doubt about it. Uh, like I said, creaming agents, not good. Candy. Candy is loaded with lots of excess calories, which are usually simple carbs, which are really not good. Also, uh, lots of chemicals, too, a lot of times these, these candy bars have in them. Trans fats. If you, most of the trans fats have kind of been put away because everybody's jumped up and down about them for a while there. But uh, actually, trans fats are a killer. There's no doubt about it. Cause inflammation in the body. Excessive oils in the body in general. I don't care what it is. If you get a bunch of oil, it will surround each cell and prevent insulin and other hormones from getting in and not good. Also, bread. You know, I love bread. There's no doubt about it. I'm also a uh, gluten intolerance. But also, yeah, you know, that's a excessive uh, processed carb. It's just really not good for a person. It will eventually cause inflammation. Uh, so not good. Pasta, like I said, Burgers is another one. All kinds of inflammatory compounds in that. Pizza, which everybody loves pizza, but you can make a whole foods plant-based pizza and without the cheese, which is good. And you have a, you know, whole wheat crust or a gluten-free crust, which is really great. And we make some out of the roots that we uh, grow around here, like taro root, malanga, that type of thing. Even I made one out of beans and rice one time, which was really good. Uh, crispy also, so that you can make a healthy pizza. Otherwise, it's really toxic. Uh, margarine, that's one of the worst. I mean, if I accidentally get some margarine, I just go into inflammation all over my body right away. Uh, not good for the body. Shortening, another one, exactly the same thing. Uh, not good. Those hydrogenated uh, oils are really not good for the body. Of course, lard. Lard is going to cause inflammation. Pastries. I know you uh, sweet tooth people out there are going to have a hard one with this. You know, the donuts, the croissants. and <laughs> I had a person yesterday get a hold of me and say, Oh, I have a croissant addiction. <laughs> A croissant addiction, oh boy. Uh, and a lot of people do, you know, you love the brownies, you love, you know, the scones and all those different things. They are, will cause inflammation. Cakes, also the same type of thing. Soda, oh, uh, I can't say more. And when you can put a penny inside soda and it comes out looking new, it's not good for the body. There's no doubt about that. Also, or non-organic potatoes, 32 different chemicals in them. Not good, really not good. Organic potatoes, fine, but non-organic potatoes, not good. Non-organic veggies, from 30 to 50 chemicals in them. 
Not good. You know, the average parsley, over 40 chemicals. Not good. So eat, eat organic. Peanut butter. A lot of people have problems with peanuts in general and they have an allergic reaction to it. And some people, the peanut butter also and nuts in general, and they become highly inflamed. And some people, it's a, you know, a life threatening process going on. So that's a big thing and nut allergies in general. Uh, some people, soy, I get, I eat a lot of soy and I don't have any problem with, with it whatsoever, but I make sure it's organic and I find it's really good for you. If you watch the movie, you know, uh, the game changers, you'll see that it actually locks in estrogen receptors, but it's not estrogen and prevents estrogen from locking in. So it actually prevents cancer. And that's why you don't see the amount of cancers in Japan and China, Singapore and different places that eat a lot of soy, organic soy, I hope. Also nightshade vegetable, vegetables like uh, tomatoes. You know, I eat a ton of tomatoes. I don't have any problem with them whatsoever. Eggplant you know, peppers, things like that. Some people have a reaction to that type of thing. I have found personally that these people are toxic. And once they uh, get uh, all that toxin out of their body, they don't have a problem with it whatsoever. But, you know, be aware that these can cause inflammation in the body. Fried foods and oil. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Really a lot of inflammation going on. If you you like French fries, <laughs> You're headed for a lot of inflammation. There's no doubt about it. I love French fries too, but we do ours in an air fryer. Really great without the oil at all. And tap water. Tap water nowadays in the United States and around the world is toxic. Lots of chemicals. Even where my mom lived, they couldn't even drink the water. It was so toxic. Uh, really not good. You need to have some kind of filter going on. Uh, things that not eating but things like dryer sheets man i have had the uh, itches all over my body from dryer sheets we don't use them anymore at all that's been years ago and uh, so uh, i highly recommend you get let go of those terrible chemicals in dryer sheets washing detergents so which have a lot of chemicals in them keep it natural also processed foods of any kind i mean if it's processed foods it's more than likely gmo foods not good for you and uh, causes inflammation and causes cancer, all kinds of things. Fast food in general, we know it is fattening and not good for us. Causes cancer, all kinds of stuff. Not good. Uh, also, I had another person get contact me just a while back. And he said, you know, my 10-year-old gets on the, his laptop. And after being on the laptop for a while, he has a two or three uh, degree increase in temperature. Uh, his his fever, he has a fever, a slight fever after watching, you know, on the laptop. And I said, well, this is not good. You know, they have a lot of radiation coming off of these things and they're really not good for us. Limit your connection to these toxic elements too, which create inflammation in the body also. Also paint, you know, paint in your old house and try to keep it to a non-toxic paint as much as possible. That also, it will create inflammation in the body. Chemicals in general, try to stay chemical free. Go back to natural products, please. Uh, I'm begging you, this is not good. Uh, we gotta go back to a simpler way of living. Hair color, a lot of you women out there and some men, you know, using a lot of uh, hair color, that is full of toxic chemicals, not good. Pesticides, of course, uh, herbicides, well, what a killer. Not good. Uh, so inflammation leads to disease. And if you have some deadly process going on, uh, probably more than likely got started with some kind of inflammation from some kind of food or some kind of chemical or something going on. Listen to your body and make a list of all these things. Eat a food. 15 minutes later, write down how you feel. Eat a food. 15 minutes later, how you feel. Do this daily and oh, take in you know, your body's wisdom. It's going to tell you a lot, but you really need to uh, allow yourself to understand it. You may be allergic to something that nobody else is allergic to. And maybe you're allergic to bananas. You know, I've had that happen. And people, you know, people were allergic to, you know, onions. I have a friend, Bruce, which is deathly allergic to onions. Uh, people allergic to garlic, all kinds of things. So make a food diary and keep a connection there.
like I said, everybody is different. So allow yourself to make a, uh, a toxic food list for you that you stay away from when you're going to the store. And that will keep you healthy and feeling great and doing really great in life. You know, I have done that myself, made a food list, keep away from this, keep away from that, and you will really benefit in a great way. If you want to do a consultation with me, all my contact information is at the end of the video or click on show more and it's down below. I ask for a $50 donation and we get you on a road to becoming really healthy. I also throw in from the goodness of my heart and actually supporting you for one year on your process of getting there. And uh, you, so you can call me, check in with me, email me, text me and find out what's going on. And we lead you to a better quality of life. There's no doubt about that. I've had a huge miracles happen with people. Also, if you want to make a difference in your life, read my new book, uh, Live a Cancer-Free Life. You can just uh, Google that title, Live a Cancer-Free Life, and you'll find it on Amazon. And from there, you can uh, cut your chances of coming down with cancer by a thousand percent. You know, three out of five people are coming down with cancer. And it's moving towards four out of five, and you don't need to be part of that statistic. Have a wonderful day. Stay away from those inflammatory foods. Remember God, and remember, I love you.